can I let's see good morning good morning good morning this social media thing having me bugging out is so detailed Good morning, Coretta. How are you? Thank you for joining. All right. Let's see. Just trying to get all my stuff set up here. Trying to integrate can be a challenge sometimes, but that's all right. Good morning, Taria. How are you? Please, for those who are joining, say good morning. Wave hello to your neighbor. Um, tell me where you're calling in or joining in from. What city? What state? What do you do? Share a website. We're going to get started momentarily i'm just trying to get all my live trying to get all my stuff set up here and let some people come in go, go live why will this work i tell you as wonderful as i love media it can be a challenge sometimes to get stuff to do what you wanted to do good morning vincent how are you Thank you for joining. We're going to start momentarily. I'm going to give some people some time to get in. Um, go grab a pen and a paper. If you haven't done so already, we're going to be going over some things where you want to take copious notes. I've been told that the, how do you put this? The, you'd rather have the shortest pen, oh, the shortest pencil, excuse me, over the longest memory. Actually, I actually have a t-shirt that says it now. I always get it confused, but yes. The shortest pencil beats the longest memory. So, good morning, Andrea. How are you? Please tell us where, for those who are joining in, let us know where you're join, joining in from, your city and state. If you have a website um, listed, if you provide a service and or product, say so. Sharing is caring. And I still can't get this thing to work over here. So... Good morning. Good morning, Eddie. How are you? Give you guys, give some people two more minutes or a minute and a half to come on in and we're going to get this party started. Oh. oh, my goodness. Why won't my, I'm having some technical challenges here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So. Good morning, Rhonda. How are you? Thank you for joining. See, I like people. I love people who are prompt and on time. So um, if, for those who haven't, please go ahead and share this. Press that share. Share this out to the community so more people can come in and get the information. This is a live free webinar. The information I'm going to give you today um, will definitely you know, give, be insightful. Hopefully leave you, leave you today with something to work with. Um, and totally think about how to reshape your business and how you currently do things. Um, the webinar is about learning to write a book. If you follow me, you know that I speak about that a lot, and we're going to get more into that in a second. I'm just going to give guys 30 more seconds, and we're going to get this ball rolling. Um, so go ahead and share. Um, say good morning. You know, how are you to, to your neighbors? Hey, Debbie, how Debbie Dizoni, good morning. Debbie, you're all the way across the pond. Good morning. What time is it over there? Your first time, what about? Okay, well, Eddie, thank you for joining us. Your first time, fantastic. Always like to have new people on. Do me a favor. If you have a website, share it. If you do have a product and or service, say what you do. And most importantly, let us know where you're um, joining us from. Good morning, Paul. How are you? All right, so let me flip my screen. And we are going to get started here. Oh, goodness. All right, new share.
Did it not move? All right, this is not stop share. I can't get this thing to pop up. How lovely. This is not doing what I wanted to do this morning. I'm trying to share my screen with you guys. Oh, that's technology. You have to love it. You got to love it. This is not doing what I wanted to do. But thank you for being patient with me. I totally appreciate you. Is anybody seeing my screen or you're still seeing my face? Do you guys see my screen? I'm trying to share the screen. Huh. Well, go ahead and invite your friends while I figure this out. Otherwise, we're just going to work through this. I was trying to share a PowerPoint with you, but the screen will not move. All right. Well, anyway, as such is life. You know what? We're just going to work through this and keep this ball moving. And you'll get my info. Now I'm frozen. All right. So guys, what we're talking about today is how to write a book in 30 days. What I'm going to explain to you is how you can actually make six figures from it. And yes, you can make six figures from writing a book. Tell me something. If that sounds like something of interest, raise your hand and let me know that you're here with me and you like how that sounds. Well, first of all, I want to say congratulations and thank you to everyone for being here getting up this morning and taking time to invest in yourself what is most important you know investment in yourself is priceless and information is the key so once again thank you for being here so number one and like i said if you don't have a notebook i i i urge you to go ahead and get your notebook so that you can take some notes um, you can't see the PowerPoint presentation, so you're not going to remember everything that I say. So I want you to be able to write everything down so that you can refer back to your notes later. All right, so secret number one about writing a book. Writing a book, it builds credibility, influence, and profits. Now, doesn't that sound like something that you should be interested in? All right, so there's been three people that I've been watching over the time that I've been in this business. You have Lisa Nichols. Um, I'm certain most of you have heard of her. If you haven't, you should look her up. She's a phenomenal individual. She's written the book, No Matter What. Um, she talks about nine steps to living your life and loving it. Then we have Steve Harvey. I know that you've all heard of him, right? Raise your hand. Who has, not, who has heard of Steve Harvey? I'm certain you know. There we go, Rhonda. I appreciate that. And Steve Harvey wrote this book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. I'm certain that you guys remember that. And for myself, when I first saw it, I was like, well, what the heck does Steve Harvey know about relationships? Well, experience, guys. It's all about his experience. But what I can, what we can all agree upon, before Steve Harvey wrote that book, we can all admit that we just knew him to be a comedian. He had that TV show briefly. Um, but I would say that after he wrote that book, it kind of put him in a whole new league of his own, right? Yes, yes. All right. So, and then we have T.D. Jakes. Now, we know T.D. Jakes. We see him on the morning, um, on Sunday mornings. He has a mega church. He's doing phenomenal things. But he actually wrote a book as well, and it was called Women That Are Loose. And he speaks to about when he actually initiated doing this book, he was actually taking money that he had planned to purchase a home and some property with, and he took that investment and invested in this whole book idea. And now he has um, developed a whole knowledge center around at his church, Women That Are Loose, that provides a whole, you know, 360. So the point that I'm making here about not looking at them in the beginning. Yes, yes, can we agree? 
So whoever's with me, please can raise your hand. Let me, the participation is key. All right, well, keep going. So make sure you're taking notes. All right, your screen, all right. All right, so who is this for? Today I'm speaking to anybody that's, you know, small traditional business owner, a network marketer, a corporate climber, or just a dreamer. Listen, for me, when I got, before I was, when I was introduced to this and I was looking for something, I fit for all four categories. So there's not, you don't have to just fit into just one. It can be all four. I had a traditional business. I've been in network marketing. I was a corporate climber and I've always been a dreamer. Um, I was thinking about that this morning. Whoever seen the show, um, oh, there was, a, there was a movie that Jim Carrey was in. I want to say it was Norman or something about a name. But they were actually scripting his life, right? And so what it made, when I thought about my, pre, when I thought about speaking to you guys this morning, I was like, wow, being a dreamer. The, you know that we really can dream. The thing about it is there's no one that scripts your life but yourself. You're the director. You're in control. You're the audience. You're the producer. It's all up to you and what you choose to do with that, right? So, you know, you don't have to have somebody behind the scenes telling you what to do. You can do that all yourself. So if that's some, if you fit into any of these categories, you're, this applies to you. You're in the right place, right time, right place, right now, right? So imagine what your life would be like if you could increase your income two to five times of what you make today. That you never had to worry about not being seen, noticed, or known where to start, but you had a presence. You were able to make an extra $5,000 to $10,000 a month just by leveraging your life's journey through your book and multiple streams of income. Well, guys, that's all possible, and that's why we're here today, so that we can go over all of that information so that I can show you how you can make, actually make that happen. So let me give you a little bit about myself. Hi, I'm Charisma Dizoni, if you don't know already. <laughs> I'm a mother, I'm a friend, um, I'm an active student, I'm always believing in, in you know, learning, but I wasn't always this person as animated and charismatic as you see today. See, I did just like everybody else did. I went to school, I got the great education, I had the great job, um, I thought, you know, had the great life. And I thought that system was what that I was supposed to do as I was instructed. And, and many of us are. But however, life happened. In the midst of all of that greatness, I mean, when school got a, you know, a, uh, my bachelor's, my master's, life happened. And it was just at a flash. And I found myself unemployed. Um, financially challenged, um, school debt, children go on their way to college and trying to figure it out. And um, it was a shift, uh, 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 something, ha something had to happen. But what I realized also in the midst of that shift before that happened, there was something already going on. See, I already knew that the job that I was in, I had, you know, I needed to make a change, but I refused to, to make that change because I was just going to fight what I was feeling. I was, I, was, I was determined to make something work that wasn't working. I was a, a, a round cylinder trying to fit in a square, and it, it, didn't, it didn't go. So for those, and if you've ever, you know, had that push and pull with yourself, and you know that your, you know, your spirit is telling you to go one way, but you're gonna, your mind is telling you to do something else. Things happen because we just, we just want to listen to ourselves and not, and not the spirit. So I found myself in an impasse, and I had to make the change. So guess what? I became an entrepreneur, not by choice, but out of necessity. But it was something that I had always desired but just didn't know how or what or where I was going. And, and mostly probably because I was scared to make that change, which most of us are. But however, for that happening, I um, can say that I am a better me because it put me in a position 
to learn how to listen, um, to be a, to always be a student. So I'm here today. I've been um, successfully able to earn a nice you know bit of change i don't live on the street as you can see um but this is something that has worked for me and it's been my path and my purpose to teach others that they can do the same thing all right so let me tell you something i've tried it all getting up to this point i i am a licensed life insurance agent myself i have insurance um license the screen is breathing um i had a cleaning service i did Janny king for a little while um I did everything but door-to-door -door sales just about but I was I was you know going to try everything to get to a place where I found what was for me okay and I'm certain that you know most of you have done it also and there's nothing wrong with it so most of what I realized the the biggest point in my life where I realized that I was someplace that I deserved to be and I was starting to see my picture unfold um some time ago I was invited to speak at an event um, for a women's initiative and it was at this you know beautiful hotel downtown and there was probably about 5,000 people in the room and I had never spoken to an audience that lo that large um, I've spoken to you know many people but not that many but so number one it was an honor to be there number two I was there because um, I was hand chosen because I have, was an entrepreneur and had gone through this um, nonprofit to help me get my business started and they were just smitten you know with all my success and how everything was going for me so I had the opportunity to speak at this event and it was the first time that my children had seen me on a platform where I got to share my story and it was very emotional the energy was high and I was like wow you know all of these people indirectly are here for me and what I went through was something that somebody else needed to hear. And so I decided, you know, that I was in a place that I was supposed to be and I was going to continue to move forward in that direction and just follow my heart. So let me tell you, getting here has, has not been easy, but I've invested a lot in myself. I've spent more than $100,000 over the last six years just learning how to build a successful business. Um, I've had a home-based business, I've had a traditional business, and I've invested a lot of time and energy into myself. Where, where I am did not happen overnight. But in order to get to where you need to be, investment is also required as well. And I'm not saying that you have to go my route, but what I also realize is that from day one from when we are born, the first place that we go is school. You have a teacher. And after we graduate, we think that we know it all when you really don't know much of anything. You're still learning. So even in your adult life, that's why you have coaches. That's why you have trainers. We still need to learn because what you know is only going to get you but so far. What you want to be will require you to be attached to somebody else that can help lead and take you there. So lesson number two, write this down, is to find a thousand dollar idea in five minutes very simple I call that your unique selling property and so what is unique selling property that's that one thing that identifies what your niche or your talk or who your target market is you have to be I you have to be able to identify who the people that your tribe who the people that you have that you're looking to acquire so is everyone still with me Yes, yes. Let's see some hands here. If you're here, let me get a wave, a thumbs up. It's... Thank you, Desmond. Good morning. So, if you realized or if you're watching, there's been a shift in the industry if, in book writing. And so, we're here today to talk about how to leverage yourself in writing a book. So, for those who have watched this movement there's five big publishers that only account for 16% of best-selling ebooks less than 45% of authors earning that go to that there's about yeah, 45% of authors earning to go to a traditional publishers indie authors earn about 70% in profit from books but the average author sells less than a hundred copies of their books 
and the ones that truly make money are the thriving 1%. Now, the question is, how can you be part of that 1%, right? So what does the 1% know that everyone else doesn't know? So secret number two is passive income is the key to becoming financially free and writing a book allows you to be able to build that residual income base. See, that's what the 1% knows. And so I want you to keep that in mind. A book is something that you write that's going to be able to leverage you and catapult your business into areas that you normally would not be able to get with your traditional business because the, traje the, the trajectory with a, with a traditional business or your home business can be, a li can be limited. But with your book, you're, being, you're able to roll out a process that, number one, has several touch points. And then from your book, you're able to acquire additional touch points through the book process. Okay. So the business statistics is that there are about 28.8 million small businesses in the United States. About two-thirds of businesses survive two years in business. Half of all businesses will survive up to about five years. And one-third will survive about 10 percent, 10, 10, 10 years, excuse me. 103 million people are in network marketing worldwide, 20 million in the U.S. That's less than 5% of network marketers who ever make a full-time income. Now, these are business statistics, guys. Imagine the people who are under the radar who haven't, you know, become licensed. They're just, you know, got started with their business. They're just looking to make things work. That increases the numbers, right? So what are you doing for yourself that you're not playing in this market so that you can have a piece of that pie as well? So what I do, what I teach is a book writing system. Anything that you do always has a system, a system and a method to it. And the system with the book writing is preparedness, the publishing, the profit, the performance, and the promotion. With our system as System Mastery, we've helped to prepare you to write your book. And that's where your USP comes in, your unique selling proposition. You know, how to outline, how to carve out your niche, what's your talk. How are you going to influence your, your reader? How are you going to attract your market? Publishing, when we, when we work with you with the publishing, we handle all the publishing that goes from the editing, the formatting, the book cover, profit. We teach you how to be profitable from day one, from the time that you enter into our system so that you can start getting your investment back. And then the performance. We help you to, to, out, to carve out your, pro, your product so that you're able to watch your book now perform in other markets. And then the promotion. We're constantly helping you promote. There's about, oh, I know, free, 65 different touch points where you can actually promote your book too that doesn't cost you a dime. And I share all of that with you. 65 free. Okay. Now, once upon a time, before I got started, I was in a place where you know, I loved, I loved what I did, but my heart just wasn't in it. I mean, I used to get up and go to work every day, and before I'd walk in the door, I'd say, the devil is a lie. I tell you, the devil is a lie, the devil is a lie. See, I worked for this gentleman, or I worked for this organization, and I worked directly with this gentleman who was a really nice person outside of work, but during work, he was a demon. Oh my gosh, he was a demon. And so my heart just wasn't in it. And so it's, it's difficult being, being someplace that you love the mission, but you can't really get along with the people. And so it puts you at a disconnect. And I don't know if anybody's ever felt that way or you're currently going through something like that, but it can be a challenge, right? So that's why I do what I do because it helps I find my, my center. I found my center. And that's what I want to be able to help other people do through the work that I provide, is to help you be able to find your center as well. So what is my purpose in life? Okay. My purpose in life is to be able to assist at least 10,000 people to acquire their goals and their desires through the system that I work with. With System Mastery, our, we have results and we have goals. We've helped more than 350 students launch projects. We have over 200 students 
this past year. In the coming year, we're looking to have 200 new students, and in the next 90 days, that will be joining us. All right? Oh. Are you guys going to like I froze? All right. So if you're still with me, let me get a thumbs up. Is all of this making sense to you? Are you taking notes? So I'm going to come back and ask you some questions. Now, System Mastery, we've, we've produced over, oh my gosh, in the last few years, I want to say that we've produced more than 250 books, which is a lot in the last four years. All right? We've had books on multiple streams of income. We've done books about depression. We've done books um, about love and relationships. We've helped people write books about real estate. We've helped people write book about, books about education. We've helped people write books about, you know, being on their purpose, that's in their destiny. I have persons who are veterans. We have a, a myriad array of individuals have, who have written books about niche markets, okay? And it doesn't, there's nothing that keeps you from being able to do the same thing. Your talk is different, and it doesn't matter. There's no, there's no oversaturation of anything. I mean, if you go online and you just, go on Amazon, for instance, and you type in relationships, you'll see over 200,000 hits for relationships. Every, you know, books that are geared to loving relationships, you know, how to fix your marriage. There, everyone is looking for what you have to say. Because you and the individual can have, be in the same situation or have a situation that seems similar, but your talks will be different. And the person that you're going to reach um, is going to be your person. Everyone wants, doesn't want to know, you know what, you, what you're going through, but they want to know how you went through it. All right? So yes or yes? Are you with me? Okay. Hey, Lamont, thank you for joining so book writing is easy how we start out how you start out is you and take notes if you aren't is mind mapping okay mind mapping is placing your idea in the center now usually i do this for myself and my clients is we sit down and we create your your, your core your center your unique selling proposition and outside of that then we'll start to create the outline and you draw what um, you'll, you know, you'll draw everything that relates to that unique selling proposition. So we'll say, say love and relationships. So love. Okay. So when you're doing a mind map, and that's your USP. So your, your core, your center is the, the idea that you're going to speak about. And so I'll use love for its instance. And then you'll draw, you know, my map, you draw all these, you know, bubbles around it. And you'll say relationships, dating, um, marriage, children, family, house, whatever, whatever comes to mind about love. Okay. And from there, then you start to draw upon, and those are your, your, your that's how you develop the content for what your talk will be about. So what we do with system mastery, we make it even more, make it even simpler than that. Okay. We do a simple mind map, and then I take you through those same phases where we're identifying what your talk will be about so that you can then create the content, all right? And then here for your content, we actually record and then transcribe the content so that you have, without writing, yeah, I just said no writing, it's transcribed. I record your, your content so that it's transcribed, and then we re-review it so that you can look at the format for your for your book and that becomes your content make sense with me yes yes i'm gonna make it sense to you guys awesome thank you lamont see participation is everything I, I i like a participating audience all right so once again we're gonna just so for those who didn't get it how you create your mind map is you you write your book topic in the middle of this page so that can be your passion your hobby your occupation and then you're going to write out all your topics around there all right, and then you're going to organize. And this is for those, you know, take a take a stab at it. All right, you're thinking about writing a book. This is my map is where you start. And then you're going to organize your topics into groups and sections. And then you're going to use those sections to outline your book. 
And so I take you through a much simpler path to get to that having a one-on-one -on -one, um, relationship or student teacher when I'm teaching where we just do this right on the computer and I have a system that just loops one into the other. But for those, you know, if you're, you, you're looking, you want to know how to write a book, that's how you would basically get started. All right. So there's eight things that you should do or be doing, you know, that, that your book, pardon me, let's be clear. We're speaking about a book. There's eight things that your book should be doing or you're moving to get towards you. It should be making you at least multiple streams of income. And I don't want to put a number on, I was just about to give you a number, but it should be making you multiple streams of income. In your book, you always want to have a redirect to your readers. So they're reading your, your content and there's something that's going to redirect them to, you know, a product, service, um, a call of action. You want to be able to open doors as a speaker. Your book should be less than 800 pages. Your book is not something that you're going to give everything you're not just going to pour your heart into it's going to be a labor of love yes but you're not going you pour everything into you your book is somewhat of a teaser because your book is the platform to get you to the next step and when we have our strategy session i speak to you about that so you understand exactly how it works but your book is basically the the key to open the door um and your book should be straight to the point it and this is key for me. Your book should leave a legacy. I mean, once you're long gone, find them here. Your book is something that is going to be here after you're you're not. And so that is, you know, a key into itself. And then you should have a cover that sells. Two books here for for, for, for reference. And then you should be able to increase your bottom line of your primary business. Number one, well, that, probably, that should have been focal point number one. Now, who's writing notes? Because I have another lesson for you. All right. So you guys are with me? Yes, yes? Did I make it sense? I got your attention? Okay. So lesson number two. A book is about the best resource that you can have that represents you and your brand 24 hours 365 days of the year a book never you know the book doesn't doesn't become um, invaluable your information is always relevant content is king not key I said king content is king um, because your way of doing something in somebody else's way are two different or two different issues so it's a resource that becomes invaluable because people want to know ways of how to do what you what you're doing okay so there's some uh, there's some steps to writing a book and i'm going to give you the step by step and so as we discussed there's a system so the number one step is is preparation right did you write that down so i'm going to go over this so prepare now so i'm not a typer and not to an extent i'm good at texting you know, small typing, but what we do is you can actually voice talk your book. The key is to get the foundation written out. So we take you through a process, as I said, with, when we're talking about the mind mapping, is that we take you through a process to be able to record your content. So you don't have to worry about typing. The truth is you don't have to have time to write a book. It can be done in a little as a month. You know, I can, I've had folks who've done book on, a book on a weekend. Um, and you don't have to be a natural writer or the next Baldwin. It's extremely, that process is extremely simple. And that's just the truth of the matter. The next step is step two, publishing. Getting your book published um, professionally can be, if you go to a publishing company, can cost you exorbitant amount of dollars. Okay, but there are people who do it and I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with it. However, with Show Your Success, we do have a publishing system where we publish your book professionally as well. Um, we give you dynamite covers. You know, you have somebody who's going to walk you step by step through the process to make sure that your, you know, your pixel, your pixel points are perfect. And that's technology, that t t technological terms that most people don't understand 
but we have a publishing process so that your books are able to be sold online where we're able to also help you save hundreds to thousands of dollars. Now, most times, if best people will go to a publisher is because they don't have the time, they want to be in a certain store, and they want to check cut, right? Now, I had an uh, opportunity a few weeks ago to meet a woman. We were talking about the book process and how I help people write books. And so she informed me that she had written this book. Um, she was self-published. She didn't use a coach or anything or you know had, a, had anyone to help her but she wrote this she she in her heart she felt that her book was amazing and that she had you know and it probably was you know it seemed to have a purpose it was a um a guide for people who come into town and they wanted to know this particular area and she was really she was really feeling some in her feelings talking about this because they would not take her book at the airport and you know, I explained to her, I was like, well, in order for you to have a book in the airport, required that you go through a certain publishing company. And still going through that publishing company does not mean that your book will automatically be placed where you want it to be placed and or people will purchase it. Because what you don't realize or most people don't realize is you still have to promote your book. Just because you've given it to a publishing company, there's still some onus on you as well, right? Um, but she just, you know, she said, well, I could have, you know, for going doing it myself and you know went to this went to a company and they would have just written me a check well in today's market it does and and I don't feel that it ever was that that simple um, for people to just go and they just gonna write you a check because if it was that easy everybody would do it right we would all be a publishing company say here's my idea hand me that check but your book your process has to be vetted yes Yes, you know, you're, just like you go to a job, you have to be vetted and have an interview. It would be the same thing going to a publishing company. So the other thing is sometimes you have to take the onus. And I, I know her book was a great idea, but she could have easily just gone to some local bookstores and had her book um, set up there. And I know did far, and I feel that she would have did far better. And that was something that I suggested to her, you know, working directly with her local bookstores since, it, you know, we get a lot of traffic of people who are um, coming to visit the area, you know, we have a, time, a high turnover of um, visitors. What, what am I trying to say this morning? It's tourists, high high turnover of tourists, and so her book would be prime. But you have to under you have to know how to promote your book, and that's what we take you through. So it's not a process that you go through by yourself. Now, reaching out to a published company as I as I did just so that I could have information on my own. Um, I actually did reach out to a publishing company and they invoiced me for more than $2,500 to publish a book and they would own all the royalties. Now that sounds crazy. You do the work or it's your, it's your idea. It's your creation. You ask them to publish the book and they're going to take all the royalties. So how do you make your money back? You know, that's a long mountain. That's a steep mountain to climb waiting for your investment to return. Hey, well, thank you for joining. So there's also a company that would help you write your book, edit it, format it, create the cover, design the marketing materials, and show you how to pre-sell your book for profits. And guess what they wanted to charge? If anybody can throw this number out, I will send you a packet of my last three books. If you can get this number, I will send you a packet of three books for free, including t-shirts. However, this company wanted to charge $24,000 for their program. Now, there's some people who will pay $24,000. They have it. That's great. But that's, great and that's crazy, right? So formatting and publishing. When you're formatting and publishing, you need to know what font to use, what kind of paper to use. You need to know how, to book, you, know, how you want your book to look, how your chapters need to start where you want your pages numbered, what size do you want your book, you know, top quality, not pixelated um, book cover and more. There's a lot that goes into it. And so people will choose to go the indie route and do it themselves and come back with a product, you know, sent to them and they're like, this is not what I thought it would be because you're gonna use a company that will allow you to, to publish indie independently 
but they're not going to tell you that you, you know your margins are set up wrong your page is wrong your cover is fuzzy um that your book just looks, looks a little crazy right they're just gonna you know say you can use our platform to publish you know upload it send it and we'll send you back this and you don't know but now you're stuck with this product so that's you know another reason to to know exactly what you're doing and how to do it so step three is profit did anybody write that down profit step three okay so it's our step three process for profiting we tell you how to pre-sell your books up to a hundred books before you before your book is even printed so that you can have sales and so and then we also teach you additional 10 ways to profit from your book but that speaks volumes you know when you do your book you have definitely you've made an investment in yourself and what you want to be able to do is see your return on your investment so being able to have your book make money for you before the book is even in your hands speaks volumes and that's what we you know help you do that's a big part of my relationship with helping you build this business so lesson number three you can write a book in less than 30 days without writing a single word okay I just if you remember I spoke to that we actually record so you don't have to be able to type and I think that speaks volumes because it takes a lot of time um, and a, a lot of time and endurance out of the process okay step number four is the performance you know book title is everything you want to be able to have you know a book title that catches people's eye but they also know in a short span exactly what you're talking about okay so we are going to show you how to hook your target audience with the right message and create a winning title subtitle that compels your audience to want to actually buy your book so now remember you must know how to target you know what your target market is you also need to know what the challenges they have you have to be able to know how to solve their challenges and you need to be able to get in front of them and so that's the whole premise of the book process all right now the truth is you don't need to be tech savvy to launch a book you don't need to spend a, a ton of money marketing you don't need to be fancy with your publishing company it's possible to um, have a successful book launch to ten thousand dollars and I'm not just throwing numbers out there to you because I know someone personal who's who has done it and so it's not some dreamt up you know notion and you also need to be able to um, learn right you know from the right team and it doesn't you know it doesn't have to be me but you need to be able to partner with somebody who's definitely going to take you through the process and show you the right way now step number five is promotion so the secret to promoting yourself like a rock star that will have clients that was you know that's going to take you to the next step working with you you know there's 10 ways to promote your book and to sell your book and build content the premise of your of your business should always be contacts and coins you know one of the two or both work just fine as well but promoting your book like a rock star is what I I work with you do so that you know you can get that book rocking and rolling and into the hands of people that are far beyond your reach so the open door secret you know you want to be able to identify your influencers based upon your clients or customers you know there's there's a secret to being able to market and that's where the promotion comes in all right so you can you know buy what, what when you get your book so I'm making sense to you there's there's many ways and I've used this because it makes sense now so if you write a book and you want people to recognize especially key influencers whether you want to speak on someone's show radio show TV show you know speak at someone's conference be on a platform there's a secret to getting those doors open so and how you do this is you set up an account with Amazon mm -hmm. and Amazon allows you to have your book directed to their company where they'll mail it out well they'll mail it out for you there's I don't have an Amazon box here but there's nothing like I know when, when you order your stuff and you get that box from Amazon and you're like oh you definitely it, it grabs your attention even when you forget because I know I make orders and I forget and I'm like oh I got something in the mail but it's something that someone's gonna open so with an Amazon account you're able to actually control your account have Amazon fulfill your shipment 
you go on, you, you know, you put down where you want your book to go to. That person gets the book in the mail. They, they, they're going to open it because it came out of this, you know, little swoopy box with the, the half smile on there. And you're going to have your book in there with a card, you know, with, you know, have a redirect on a business card. So, or they even have cards where you can, um, and there's like an image or something where you can take a picture of and you can have a video pop up. I work with a, with a guy who does image, uh, barcoding imaging. So you can take your take a business card, place it over, you know, then take the picture with your phone, and then this video pops up. It's the, it's the most fascinating thing ever. But this, this is, there's a lot of tips and tricks and tools that you can use to get your product out there so people are like, oh, wow. And then so with your, you just do a simple business card or a note, you say, you know, hey, I've been, you know, wanting to meet up with you. I'd like to have a conversation with you. You know, your two-second elevator pitch in, a, in your card, and you tell that person you're going to follow up with them. Well, now you've attracted their attention, and there's some were curious, like, who's this person and what's going on? So they're going to be looking forward to speaking with you. And even if you don't, you're not able to get them, you know, connect with them that first time, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up is the key, okay? And then you close the deal. So the System Mastery University, who are the group that I work with or that, you know, that what we do with our book seminars is we teach you how to write a book in 30 days to make multiple streams of income. It's that simple, guys. Um, it really is just that simple. So who's still with me? Yes, really. Yes, wow. That's crazy. No, it's actually the truth. So thank you guys for chiming in. But yes, it's just a mastery. We actually teach you how to write a book in 30 days or less and make multiple streams of income from it. Okay. So there's five P's to writing the book writing success. Get your pens and paper, get your pens and paper. Make sure that I want to make sure that you guys are taking notes. I'm going to um, refresh on you and some things. So there's the preparation of your book. You'll be assigned your own team for coaching, editing, formatting, publishing, and marketing. We use a hundred thousand dollar online system that also helps you on to be able to track your profits and hit your goals. Okay. Now the profit from your book, and this is what this is what we give you as System Mastery, taking you through our our process. We have more than 20 ways to show you how to profit from your book. Some of these um, ways you can do as, so, as soon as you start your first day in the program so you can start making money today on your so you have a return on your investment, your ROI. And then we help you with the publishing of your book. We'll publish your book for you. Once your manuscript is done, we'll, um, We'll send it to you. We'll, you know, we have this process going that we vet back and forth with you so you, you can review your manuscript once your content is done. And we handle all the edits. We handle all the, for, the formatting. Um, and we help your book to, we promote your book. We help you promote your book. We'll assist with your book promotion. We have over 20 ways that you can successfully promote your book. I've actually researched an additional... See, I said six, and we have we had twenty. Now we have an additional. Heck, that's a that's eighty five ways. We have actually over eighty five ways that you can promote your book, and you can promote your book for free. I have over sixty five platforms that I, I have. I have a long list um, of online systems and places that you can promote your book for free. All right, and then we are we help you get your book to perform. This goes hand in hand with the, pre the preparation of the book. We don't want you to have a book that's for garage qualified. And when I say garage qualified, let me explain to you what that means. Um, and for you, those that have the house, and if you don't, we don't want you to be um, closet qualified. And that means you get your, your your book shipment, and it just sits there in a corner collecting dust, or it becomes a nice cup, a stand for something else. You want to be able to have a product that doesn't collect dust. We're going to show you how to get it out there in the marketplace so that you're reach, reaching your touch points, you're hitting your goals, that you're increasing your influence, and that is bringing in a bottom, an additional bottom line to your business. We're going to show you how to truly get your book to perform for success so that it expands your network, all right? So secret number three, and I shared this earlier if you didn't catch it, 
a book never dies. Your book will be here way before, way after, pardon me, we're, we're, we're gone. Um, content is king. And that being the, the opportunity to be, the opportunity to be able to leave a legacy is, is timeless. I mean, my grandmother passed, you know, I wish, I only wish that I could have captured her words on paper, but however, however, and I, I do have a video. She had the pleasure of being um, interviewed for someone else that did a book. And so I still have the video. Now it's on a, it's on a, what do you call it? It's on that VCR, it's on a, di on a, it's on a tape. And I, I would love to be able to have it transcribed. So I have to find someone that can, you know, make that transition for me. And her story is phenomenal, but that's the, and that story will never die because I have that content. And that's what a book allows you to be able to do, guys. You have something, or you'll, you'll be able to have a tangible uh, uh, product that will forego your years, okay? So what do you think the, 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 one, the thriving 1% know that everyone else doesn't know? Um, and I'm hopefully you've gotten the message by now that a book helps you to be able to catapult and have your business going round and round in, in markets that you normally could not be, that you normally would not touch. It bumps your business. Oh, thank you, Luan. Okay, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that DVD to you then. All right, so I put together a special program to help you write your book um, and publish it faster. Um, now, I'm gonna ask for your permission to tell you a little bit more about it. Do I have your permission to tell you a little bit more about that? Okay. So today, I can you can actually get started with your book, all right, today. You don't have, you know, there's no, there's no fear in writing a book. There's no public, you know, you don't have to worry about the, the publicist connections. We're gonna have you set you, I'm gonna help set you up with the book writing tools you know, the goal setting, the tools to download, and like I said, access to over 65 plus websites that can announce your book for free. So what, for those who are interested, um, and I mean seriously interested, what I need you to do is to email me. You're gonna email me at Charisma, and I'm gonna put it here, at sh ah, show your success. Um, Actually, what you're going to do, I'm going to do something better for you. I'm going to have you go straight to my link so that you can schedule. Matter of fact, no, I'm going to have you email me. I'm going to have you email me, and I'm going to send you a link. that show your success. So, all right. So what you're going to do is you're going to email me and say, I'm in. And, for the, and this is only for seri persons who are truly serious about wanting to have a strategy session. I'm going to offer you a strategy session for 15 minutes, okay, that says, I'm in. That's what you're going to type in the header in your email to me, all right? So you're going to get a free, I'm in and you're gonna t send me an email and I'm gonna send you a link back so that you can do that. Now, what I'm gonna offer you something for those who are, who are truly, is, is the opportunity, now the strategy session isn't free. Um, it's gonna be 197, where we, for those who want to get deep a deep dive, you're gonna get a one hour strategy session it's 197 $197, where we're gonna lay out everything. We're gonna identify what your unique selling property is, proposition, excuse me, property proposition. And we're gonna do the, the mapping so that we can carve out your niche market, identify what your target is, find out how to build your business, what are the additional multiple streams of income that you can have generating out of what your market is? 
see, the book is just the resource. The book is only the resource. But out of that, you have core and premium items that you're able to work towards to be able to build a larger foundation for your business. And so that's where we're going to get into that conversation so that you can have a broader stream um, so that you can garner additional resources for yourself. All right. So did all of this make sense to you guys today? I thank you for joining me. You have the email here. Now, like I said, there's two, there's two things you can, you can get. Um, you can, it's the 190, excuse me. One thing you can get is the 197. We'll get you a one hour free session where we're going to lay everything out. Everything. Um, no hold, holds barred, but this is only for persons who are seriously interested. Um, I appreciate everybody's time, but I don't want to waste yours as well as mine. And so you're interested, this makes sense, and you're ready to, you know, to get this ball rolling, email me. So I want to thank you all. If you have, anybody has any questions, go ahead and feel free to post them now. Otherwise, email me. You know, you might be a little shy, but that's okay. But I thank you. And I want you guys to enjoy your morning, afternoon, evening. You got it? All right. Good, Abel. I appreciate you. I hope everything is good for you and the family. Um, I thank you for giving me your morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you may be watching me from today. And um, we will be in touch. Have a fantastic afternoon, guys. Take care.